What a fight! Ugh. What a fight, y'all! Alright y'all, I couldn't stay away from fishing any longer. My back is still screwed up. Now I'm waiting on MRI results. But as long as I sit back in my chair, it is bearable. So, I have two lines going out. Hopefully we catch some big ass fish, y'all, because I am just dying to get one on the bank again. It has been way too long for me. Whew. Fingers crossed, y'all. Fingers crossed. Today, today, guys, I got some frozen carp and some frozen mullet, and it is absolutely frozen. There we go. Frozen carp, some frozen mullet, and that's it. That's all we got for bait today. Something. I think I might have a. I think I might have a. Tur no, I got a tiny blue catfish. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's probably at five pounds. <laughs> right. Uh. Actually, that ain't bad. <laughs> huh? There we go. One little eater size blue cat. <laughs> that was a strange fight because I actually foul hooked him in the fin wrapped around him, but uh, and that's still a win. I still got him. So in the floodwaters, got us a blue. All right, y'all. We are gonna cut him loose, let him go, let him grow. So this is the newest trend in gar fishing, super tiny hooks. First time I saw it was Henry on catching dinosaurs. We'll give it a go. Whoop. So the tiny hook is supposed to be more conservation friendly, do less damage to the fish should the fish get gut hooked and you don't plan on harvesting it for food. Uh, Obviously, small hook, less damage to the fish. So let's see if it works. All right, we got something going there. Yeah. It's going. <clears throat> Got something, y'all. Got... Oh. <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> I can't tell if he's on or not, y'all. <clears throat> oh, he's still there. He's still there. I'm not sure what I'm fighting right now. This was on the very small hook, y'all. This, this was on the very small hook. The one-aught hook. Oh my God, this is killing my back, y'all. Oh, this is killing my back. Oh, he's coming right here. Ooh, big gar, y'all. Big gar. Small hook, got him right in the hook, right in the lip. Oh, 
man. I don't know how I'm gonna land him. Oh, I gotta keep him away from this structure. Oh, what a fight. Oh, what a fight, y'all. Oh, he's rolled. He's rolled. Okay. Big gar, y'all. Big gar. Big gar on the small hook. Right in the lip. Can you get my lasso? Can you get my... Thank you, man. You're right in time. I got a gar, man. I got a big gar right now. Nah, I'm gonna release. You gonna release? Yeah. Oh man, what are you gonna do all that for? Oh. Can you get him? Can you? Oh! You got him, man? Woo! I catch plenty of these here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir, man. I appreciate it. Good catch, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what'd you catch him with? A uh, piece of cut carp. Cut carp? Cut carp, man. Woo! Oh, man, look at this, y'all. That is on the tiny, tiny hook. Tiny hook. Look at that. Oh, wow. Let me see if I can. You want me to hold the camera for you? He just wore me out. Now I'm shaking. There it is. Look at that. Tiny hook work, man. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I never thought that was gonna work. <laughs> man, that is a good size guard too, man. Yes, sir. Look at that baby. Woo! It's a fat one too. Nice fat girth. Nice. Nice fish. Nice fish. Dude, I don't know if I'd have landed him if you guys hadn't shown up. I don't know if I would have got that lasso up that hill. Oh no, oh no. Still got my bait. Woo! I'm gonna measure this guy. Oops. I'm gonna say he's gonna be close to the 60 inch. Boy, he put up a freaking fight, man. He put up a fight. I said 60, and he is, he is 65. Let's see what his girth is. It's a good size. 27, 27 inch girth. Oh. Let's see how much this guy actually weighs. I'm gonna say he's gonna be Closer to 60, I think. Yeah, you're right. 62, what? 64. 64? 64. 64 pounds. 64 pounds. Mm -hmm. Woo. Most people just guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, most people just guess on the weight of these gar. But there we go, 64 pounds. It was just under 60 inches, 27 inch girth. Still a heavy ass fish. <laughs> heavy fish. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful monster. Look at that. He's definitely got a deformity. Yep. He fought something between that, between that scar and this tail. Mm -hmm. He is definitely, you can see a little piece taken out here. Yep. A little piece taken out there. I've actually caught one here where you could see the lines right all the way up to here. He'd been hit with a boat propeller, but the tail was still on. Wow. It was still attached. It had healed itself, but you could see the direct lines. They were each spaced apart evenly. I'm like, it had to have been a boat propeller. Yeah, yeah. So there it is, y'all. 
There it is. Woo, big boy. About five, five and a half feet. And that was the first time of me using a really, really small hook. I think that's a one-aught hook or a two-aught hook. Very, very small. Hooked him right. Hooked him right in the lip. <sighs> Easy catch and release method. Least amount of damage. Got on a piece of cut carp, y'all. Yes. <sighs> I made fighting through the back pain. All worth it, y'all. All worth it. All right. Let's get it back. little hook I was using and uh, this method I did not invent it I learned this from uh, Henry over at Catching Dinosaurs so I'm not gonna go through a detailed example of how to do this you can uh, look up Henry's page he has great videos on how to do this basically you take the thread with two loops a mortician's needle you push it through and you hook it up and then you wrap it around right look up his videos he'll show you how to do this but that was absolutely my very first time using the small hook. And I landed a five and a half foot alligator gar within 10 minutes. That was awesome, y'all. Go look up his videos. He's got the instruction how to do it. Henry at Catching Dinosaurs. And uh, I'm going to get this one back out there. Oh, man. My back is absolutely killing me now, guys. But that was absolutely worth it. That was absolutely worth it. Didn't notice the pain at all while I was fighting that fish. And it's been so long since I actually fought a fish because of my back that I do not regret that at all. I'm going to regret it tonight when I go home and shower and rest. But until then, until then, I'm going to live it up. Oh, man. I am about to get out of here. It's getting dark and my back is absolutely killing me. It was worth it, but I do need to go home. I do need to take my meds. I do need to lay down. I don't think I would have been able to pull that gar up this bank without those guys' help. And, um, you know, luckily for me, they were gar fishermen. They knew exactly what to do. They jumped right into action, no hesitation. So big shout out to them for that. Really, really, really appreciate it, especially with a back injury. Absolutely worth it though y'all, absolutely worth it. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you haven't done so, think about subscribing. And uh, you know guys, I will catch you on the next video y'all. Thanks for watching.